get the old ride today. Ever been up to Lake George before? Uh, we came last August for the first time and we fished with Justy Joe. Uh huh. Yeah, well, he hooked me up with you guys. This is the only... Hey, how's it going, everybody? So this is our big Lake George ice fishing adventure. Uh, I booked the family at the uh, Six Flags Great Escape Lodge near Lake George. And uh, I figured I could work in an ice fishing trip this weekend. And I was supposed to go with uh, Joe Greco justy joe's lake george charters and uh our schedules didn't work out so like the true gentleman captain joe is he hooked me up with an alternative charter which is uh rick austin and his son scott and they did a fantastic job for us the day started out uh contrary to the weather forecast it was uh, cloudy, overcast. It was actually snowing. I don't think you can really see it in the camera. And um, the ride across the lake was absolutely dynamite on the quad runners. It was really cool. And uh, after this, we'll be setting up the, uh, the tent and the tip-ups at the site where we will be fishing. She won't come back. Whoa! Just follow me. Just push it really, really easy. Whoa, whoa, easy, whoa, whoa, easy. Whoa, whoa. Stop. <laughs> Stop, Scarlet. Wait. Wait, wait. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, so Scarlet, it's uh, this is our first time ever riding a quad runner, and uh, it's our first time ice fishing. And uh, we're setting up the camp here and uh, getting the tent going, getting the propane heat going. We're able to warm up and it's really comfortable and we're having lots of fun. Yeah, I don't like this uh, line to hit the snow. I got gotcha. you. Because it gets four times its size. Oh, now he's going. But yet, just don't try to hold him. Yep. I'm going to work my way he's, back. He's here. going down now. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock run. There he goes. That was quick and easy. Okay, let's go. Let's go yep. I mean, there's four fish on in the uh, one to four off that one. He's a little bigger, fatter. This one's really bigger than the girl that showed Oh, that's, that's okay. Just saying, you know. That's <laughs> what always happens. You got around filming there, Ken? Whenever you take a girl fishing with you. Well, that happens on the boat all summer, don't it, Scott? Now when it when you get it close to the hole and it starts to pull, let it run. Now what's that flag? Keep yeah, pulling. This, this one might be a short. Maybe. He's pulling. He's pulling. Don't, okay, don't pull. Don't pull back. Don't pull, pull, back. Back. Don't pull, pull back. back. Keep him tight though. It's hard to see the line now. Okay, okay now a little bit at a time. A little at a time. Yeah, see him right there. This is a short leader. This is a short leader, that's what I thought. A little at a time. Okay. And if he, he pulls push, hard, let him go a little up. bit. There he is. He's okay. A, he's a small one, don't gaff him. He's a small guy. That's a starter. Alright. He's smaller. Woo! That's a nice fish. Yeah. You save the hook, Scott? That flag is 
still up, you know. Well, a quick fish. Okay. It blends in with your fiber right. duck. Fish guy. Give him a little bit of a boot. Watch him swim away. There he goes. Bye bye. Okay. You guys can go ahead and I'll walk over. Which one was it, Scott? Uh, that one went up first, but this one was over here, too. I guess I'll go to that one. We'll go to this one, you go to that one. I think it's there. I saw it's it's wiggling around. Yep. Hey. So for those who don't know who haven't experienced ice fishing before, when you're using the tip-ups generally they have live bait on them and um, you don't fight the fish on the reel you have to hand line them up using your own touch and fingers as the drag system as opposed to a fishing reel so uh, this is all new to me it's my first ice fishing trip ever and it's new to my wife and uh my daughter scarlet as well uh, we're all learning together and uh it's been a great experience because rick and uh scott have been uh really great with the instruction and uh coaching and and everything's gone pretty well we've made pretty much every bite count i got a split shot this is a nicer one Yep. Oh, we need to get the ramp. Don't need to yell, but we're in the hole. Another keeper. He starts to run. You know what to do. Just squeeze the line a little bit. Okay. Just a little tension, not too much. Switch sides, huh? Yeah. Switch sides. That's a good sign when they go to the bottom. Straight down. When they go down and they just do this, uh -huh. those are generally bigger ones. Nice. And I'm not saying he's a world record, but typically that's. What, what, what would be a world record anyway? Well, the 40 one something. Out of here is over 30 pounds. Wow. wow. Is that how big? That's Greco, right? Joe Greco's. No, he got he got a 28 pounder. Okay, senior. Greco's so senior. He, he's trying to swim away. Yeah, okay, switch sides. Watch, you gotta stay on the opposite side of the hole. Don't go around so fast, make yourself busy. And that's another thing that we learned today is uh, when you're hand lining a fish up or when you're fighting any fish uh, through the ice, whether it be uh, on a rod or uh, hand lining the fish. You want to keep it uh, opposite of you. You want the line going fun, out man. away in front of you. You don't want it going to your left or to your right. And you definitely don't want it coming back under your feet. So uh, keeping the line out in front of you is important at all times. And if the, if the fish moves... Uh, to a different side of the hole then you have to move accordingly and you have to move and adjust so that you keep that line out in front of you going away from you at all times I also have to give a shout out here to my wife, Hella, who's also never done this before and she's listened to instruction very well and she catches on quick and she's a very, very smart lady. 
and she's doing a fantastic job and you this know, when, fish when that she's bringing up now will have been the pool fish at this point um, uh -huh. of course okay, well, uh, my wife well, had to beat me in okay. size so uh that's okay i'm i'm used to it and uh i actually am very proud of her i i i'm just having a great time throughout this entire trip it's it's just been non-stop fun and it continues to be as you will see you saw that light he's at the hole don't get in the way of the camera gotta hold him back okay you can stand here I have a feeling we'll try to force him a bit to get his head started, but we gotta get his head started. Yeah. That was a good one. Yeah. Nice wide body guy. Don't force with me. Whoa, nice. Oh, that's about the same as the others, but I don't know. he's a lot a little fatter. Yeah. Yeah, see this is how we want to catch him. See where the line is? Oh, deep down. down deep. Yep. yep. Deep Yep. That's how we want to catch him. There you go. Nice job. All yeah. right. All right. <coughs> so. He needs to bonk on the head. No, oh, he's getting ready to bonk her with his tail. <laughs> Don't try to hold him. Don't try to hold him. He was really burning, Scott. You gotta let go of him. Oh, he over here. He was uh, peeling the line off like crazy. Who wants to get another one? Mom, get another one. Or? No, it's Scarlet. Oh, is it? She wants That's to get a big one. Come on now. You gotta you fight this right. You can't hold him. Can't hold you him. have to let him go, okay? You know what I mean? By squeeze the line, just pinch it a little just bit. Just a light yeah. pinch. So if you try to hold him when he wants but to go. But if he has to, if he wants to go, you gotta let him go. Okay, I understand. She did this before. She's, she's done this before. before. Yeah, she's a pro. Can I tell you what to do here? Watch your eyeballs. Kiwi coming up. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Let him go, let him go. Yeah, let him go. Let him go. I have to palm his full so it don't backlash. Yeah, you can keep hanging on to it. I'm just going to help you out here. Okay? Grab it back a hold of it. Okay, now keep pulling him in a little bit. Oh, he wants to go. we got to let him fire out, okay? Run right over here. Almost to the hole. Oh God, he's pulling. There he is. Oh, geez, look at the fins. Oh, he's a good one. Oh boy. Ooh. He's a good one. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. He's giant. He's giant. Look at that. Hey, I think it could be a little bigger than my other giant. <gasps> Whoa! That's my baby! Come on, baby. Look at the awesome. size That's great. Good job. Nice hey. job. Good job. <laughs> that is awesome. I love that. That just made my ear right there. Right there. <laughs> That's what it's all about right there. Awesome. I love seeing kids. Get Thanks for helping. Nine to ten pounds. That's a beauty. All right. Time for a we always get a, we always get a good one. Do you want me to throw them back? Or you want to throw them back? Come on. Throw back? Let's put them back. Oh, you want to keep them? Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely a keeper. Wow. Nice. That's like the size of some blue fish and stuff. You'll be able to lift that's, it. You got it. That's now? careful. Don't tip you over. That's bigger than than a, a little more? than a minimum size keeper striper. Get him sideways to me. Hold up. Well. <laughs> Now, can you imagine how proud I feel right now as a dad? My daughter Scarlett just caught a lake trout over 30 inches and almost 11 pounds. So far, it's the largest lake trout of Rick Austin's ice fishing season this year in 2019. Super cool.
Scarlet. Good job, Scarlet. I guess you win the pool. Yeah. That means you get to buy dinner. Yeah. <laughs> you got tape measure on you by chance? No. I just <laughs> 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 I don't know. <laughs> I think yours would have snapped this pole in half. I am so happy I that I hooked one on the jig, man. I am like, So what you don't see in this video, ladies and gentlemen, is that I jigged throughout the day in all different depths. We even took a ride at one point about two miles away to jig in 90 feet of water and I did not get a single hit all day on a jig but I never stopped trying and the funniest part of this is these guys were breaking down our tip-ups we were getting ready to leave and I kept jigging and in the 11th hour papow I hooked one on a jig and I couldn't be happier this was hooked on a 3 8 ounce jig and a 4 inch Kitek swim shad and it fought like a champ. It's not the biggest lake trout, but I don't care. To me, it's a beautiful trophy. I loved every second of this fight and I will have this memory for the rest of my days. So thanks again to uh, Joe Greco, Justy Joe, Lake George Charters for hooking me up with Rick Austin and Scott Austin of Rick Austin, Lake George Charters. These guys did a fantastic job. It's okay. It wasn't a slammer. We didn't catch 15 fish. But we got to take home a limit of beauties. My daughter caught a monster. And I, I got, got my head. one on the jig, and it Looks was like a perfect a day, a complete tail. perfect day. As always, thanks again for watching, and uh, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, share these videos all over, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'd appreciate it. Thanks so much, Ken yes. Westerfeld, saying uh, see you soon. You and I'm you just going to let the rest of this video but play I out. But I jigged one, though. Another one for the pot. Good job. All right. My, uh, my line popped, actually, right there. Is that really? Yep. Just a little <clears throat> All right, Daddy. Oh. Kai Tech in the mouth. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs>